and this we're going to do the final authentication section when it's come to taking the data so this is where we left in the last video sanitization so let's come here let's come here in the postman and we have all of these so let's come back to get all not come in login first we have to click on login so here we are logging to the applications come back to the get and make a request so everything is working fine we are into the applications and if we come back here here we have provided a lot of parameters params in the query and we have built this all methods so hope you guys haven't forgot that so here what i want to do is i want to set short the data so let me show you what i mean by that, mean by that. so let's type short and i want to short the data based on the duration and i want to short the data based on the price so if i make this query because we can add multiple fields but here i have defined two shots which is not acceptable according to the model we have designed so if i make a request like this you can see i'll get this error because our query object the query we are sending in the params because we are splitting with the comma because there we are looking for the comma to split the string so that's the error we have let's come here go to this utils api feature and here we are building the query for the filtering data so let's come here here we have the short method and here we are looking for the comma to split the field so if i come here if i console log out the query which we are getting it's it's coming in the form of array but we need in the form of string and it will have this comma so we can simply split that but it's coming in the form of array so if i console log that simply copy and console log that you will see it will it will be in the form of error okay, make a request and here we are getting the same error response come back to the terminal and here you can see duration and price it's coming in the form of array so that's why we cannot use this split method so how we can fix that how we can fix that so to fix that that's not going to be so tough so that's what we're going to do here in the app.js and we're going to use a and we're going to use a package so here we need to bring this one and we're going to say clear terminal npm i and we want to use this hpp and this package will look for the params look for the query in our api so here we have installed the package bring this down and here we're going to first install the package okay. and it looks for the query so we, let's install that yep we have it now that's what we're going to call it so let's call it right here and we'll say prevent parameter population so here we will call this we'll call hip and that looks good so the moment you do like this and save it and come here and make a request this will fix the issue but there is a problem with this so it will fix the issue for the short and it will give you the entire data based on the last one so right now the shortening is not happening based on the duration it's happening on the pricing okay so it will fix this issue but there is a problem what if we want to short the data based on the duration because we have different duration duration for five days nine so we have durations and in that we want to have this behavior so we have to fix that as well so let's call this duration five and we want duration nine so we want these two data only so I, I we need only duration we need those nft which have this duration to five and nine so if i make a request i'll get this nine only not the five one so make a request you can see i got this all data and right now the two only two nft i have all these two nft we have nine but we want the both five and nine so how we can fix that and that's very easy so if i comment this and if i try to make a request i'll get this entire four because this is a valid query this is the valid query it will work fine in this way but we need this package to prevent the shortening because in the shortening we cannot allow user to provide two shots two short values so that's a very easy here we can set an object so this package allows us to set the object which we want to allow so it's called white list and then we have to take and define an array so all the fields which we want to align in a form of array so we'll say duration and save it and this will fix the issue so save it if you come make a request you will get this four it's looking fine it will not work for the shortening it will work for the shortening but 
when it's come to duration it will take both the properties to duration so looks pretty good to me and I want to set the other values as well so we want the user to filter the data on the base of difficulty as well so let's provide all of that we want them to provide on the max group size we want to provide that on the base of the price and we want to provide rating and the average so let's get that as well average and the last one we have is the rating and that looks good that looks good come back to the control this is the auth control error control nft control user control this is the model user model and this is the router this is the router it looks good and this is the utils error component catch error email so things looking good